Okay, Coach, how did you spend the bye week? Well, the, the off week, I think, was good for a lot of people. Um, it was good for our players in that we made money at camp. Uh, players were able to, to uh, earn some money over that. So it was busy. We had, uh, I think, 370 campers on campus. How are camps going so far? They're going really well. Um, registrations are very strong. I think we're sold out for a couple weeks already. So it should be a good summer. It's an important way for us to keep our guys employed during the summer while they're out here during you know, during what would typically be their chance to make some money in, 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 the, uh, in the off semester. So it's important for, that we have good camps and, and registrations have been strong and, and the uh, players do a good job. How much momentum was there from tying the PDL champion Ventura County Fusion on the road? Yeah, there was good momentum. Well, our team played, I think, about as good as we can play. We can get better, but for that day we played about as well as we could play. So uh, everyone kind of uh, performed their role and, and worked very hard. So. There was a lot of momentum. It was a bad time for us to have a week off because we did establish some good rhythm and, and momentum there. But we'll get it back, and we'll be okay this weekend. Uh, a couple of games at home. You haven't played too many home games, just two. Six of the last nine are at home. How do you hope to, uh, I guess, use that to your advantage? Yeah, well, uh, obviously it wasn't an advantage in our first two home games, although we played okay in one of the games. We didn't get a result. So it needs to be big for us. We need to turn it into a lot of wins. And uh, certainly, I think uh, I think we've got the players to do it. We should be able to pull it off. Looking at both games individually, what do you expect out of the uh, contest against Southern California? Yeah, Seahorses are a pretty good team. They had some chances against us. We were able to score early and really settle down. And obviously, if you can do that against anyone, you're going to have a successful day, um, or at least have a good chance to be successful. And uh, we'll see what we can do. They're they're a good team, and certainly it's not a team that we can just show up and beat. There's no doubt about that. So, so we're in for a challenge for both games. How about Orange County? Orange County is uh, the top scoring team in our division. They seem to be able to score at will lately, and uh, that they'll create a lot of problems for our defense, our, our 11 defenders, um, and uh, we'll hopefully get a result. We, we, you know, we, were, we were fortunate enough to tie them at their place, and uh, we got them at home second night of back-to-back -back for both teams. We like our chances against anyone in that situation. With all the recruiting that goes into a program, how satisfying is it to see, like today, you had a couple of freshmen show up for the first time officially? Yeah, you know, it was good to see Junior and Matt Kurtz both competed very well at practice today. Um, Nate Stoven, of course, goalkeeper, and I didn't get a good look at him uh, in the Nets, but uh, that was gratifying to see those guys step in and, and do a good job today. And I think you know, some of the guys are probably uh, you know, wondering if they're going to be able to compete for a spot and maybe take some minutes from them. Did you do this on purpose, or did this just line up? We had Scott Whitworth, James Bindrup, Junior Latte, and Matt Kurtz on the same line back there. A lot of a lot of youth. Although yeah. James, the seasoned veteran. Coincidence. That was kind of our reserve team, and they're naturally going to be standing next to each other a lot over the next uh, year or so. But they did a decent job. They got very winded at the end of that scrimmage, and uh, and the results showed it. But uh, it was fun to watch them play. They're good players.